Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how we can create a new variable from an existing variable. So for this purpose of demonstration, I'm going to use a variable from SPSS directory, which is called uh, the demo file. It's a demo data set. So for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to create a new variable called job start, which is about the approximate age at which the respondent started that job. So in this data set, you got the age of the employees, you got uh, the year, number of years that the employee has spent in a, at a particular job. So we want to know the age of the employees at the time the employee started the job. So during the collection of the data, that variable was not uh, known. So based on the data that have been collected related to the age of the employee and the number of uh, years that uh, the employee have spent at that particular job. So we can be able to calculate the age of the employee when the employee started the job. So the age that is given is the age, the current age, not the age at which the employee started the job. So in this scenario, to be able to calculate the age backward, we should minus the number of years the employee have stayed in the job from uh, the current age. Then we can be able to determine the age at which the employee or that particular employee started working at that particular place. So that is what I'm going to demonstrate by using the uh, SPSS. So what we need to do is we need to import or rather not import, we need to open the file from uh, where it's been saved to open it in SPSS, you click file, click uh, beta, and this is the file that we are going to make use of. We are interested in this file. And yes, it's already open. Okay, we can say open in a new window. All right. It's not a problem, it's already open. Okay, so here we go. We are interested in this file. So the type of the variable that we are interested in is, is uh, the age. We want to compute the year that uh, the age at which the employee started the job. So, given the age, the current age of the employee, as well as the number of years that the employees have been employed, so we can be able to compute the age of the employee when he or she started the job. So, what we need to do now is we click this icon, transform, remind. Be reminded that we are going to create a new variable. You can say you click compute and that variable name we can call it new we can call it a job start. Job start. Right. So we look for H under this box. 
these are the variables and the variable age minus you can use uh, the calculator here to look for the minus sign or you can put the minus sign by yourself if you like minus uh, here we need to look for the current we need to look for the years this one years at current address know that years with current employer and click that and you say okay now the variable has been created okay let's have a look Here we go. A new variable has been created. Job start. 34 years. So for this particular employee, started at the age of 34. This is 35, 22, 53, 24. So uh, this is uh, the data view, the variable view. You click to view the variable. Then this is uh, the new variable that have just been created. So this is how to create a new variable from an existing variable. For example, you've collected data and there are certain analysis that you are interested in and the, the variable is not readily available. You can calculate, compute uh, the new variable from uh, an existing variable. So. It's a simple process and it's very easy. So, yeah, that is how to create a new variable.